Hey, how's it going YouTube? This is Dave here from SignalWarrant.com. So today I'm going to talk about a real world problem. I received this uh, this question from somebody on my website. Uh, so they basically wanted to know this uh, young man was in a is in a small environment, so small to medium sized business has some clients, some uh, locally, some remotely, has a couple servers, but really no inter um enterprise products such as a system center configuration manager or there are other non-Microsoft versions of uh, endpoint management software. So he wanted to find a way to more efficiently first of all discover what um, third-party software, what versions of third-party software are running on his clients. So we're talking third-party software like uh, Java version, Adobe Acrobat, Flash Player, Adobe Air, all that stuff that uh, the bad guys like to exploit. So we want to use PowerShell to go out to each endpoint client, retrieve that information, package it all up into a CSV file, and then you can look through that CSV file to understand what is up to date, what isn't up to date, and then take appropriate action from there. So this is how I did it. Uh, I created a function. I just called it get third party software. So obviously you could change that name to whatever you want to change it to. So just like in the WSUS video, we're going to do this function with commandlet binding. And the only parameter we're going to have is a computer name. So pretty simple. So once the script executes, it's going to gather all this information and we're going to put it into C scripts and this software inventory CSV file. Now you could change that to whatever you want to save it to a share location or whatever. So this is kind of some of the information we're going to get. So basically we're going to get some client information, the OS, uh, the IP address, the MAC address, the username of the last person logged in and the last boot time. So the last boot time to me is significant because maybe I have clients that are sitting out there waiting to install updates that haven't rebooted to install it or they haven't rebooted to finish. So this uh, last boot time will give me a little a little insight as far as uh, what's going on there. So on my machine I'm running McAfee products for antivirus so if you're running semantic or whatever you may have to uh, dig through the registry a little bit and find out where exactly the register keys are you're interested in. But this is basically what we're doing here is looking through HKey local machine software McAfee, digging down into the McAfee registry uh, tree, and we want to get the virus scan build version, the DAT version, and the HIP version. So obviously you could uh, massage that however you need to massage it. Uh, so the next thing we're going to get is Flash Player information, and we're doing it the same way. We're just digging through the registry. Then Java information. So the Java information is a little bit different. We're still digging through the registry, but Java does not, or I could not find, a Java key in HK Local Machine software. So if you look in software, the WoW 64 node, because I have 64-bit Java installed, and you can look in the uninstall, and then you can just search through there recursively, and we want to pick a display name that contains or is like Java space 8, because I have Java 8. Now if, you're, if your standard version is Java 7, obviously you want to change that to a 7. And then all we're going to get is the display version. Same kind of information here for Adobe products. So Adobe Air, Adobe Reader, and I have Adobe Acrobat Pro installed on this machine, so I went ahead and threw that in there. So that's basically all the information we're going to get. So down here we're going to build the CSV file. So we're going to put our IP address. MAC address, and then down here is where we're going to uh, create a column for each or each piece of our information. So IP address, MAC address, username, last reboot time, and then all the McAfee stuff, all the Flash Player stuff, all the Acrobat and Reader and Air and Java stuff. 
and that's going to create us a CSV file. So we're going to do it. This is the way we're going to run it. Get third-party software. We're going to look for a computer name and localhost just because I'm on my machine. You could do this the same way uh, as the WSUS plugin, or uh, not plugin, the WSUS function. You can, uh, let me get this up here. So I can do computer names, comma separated list, like that. If I need to do more than one, or I can, actually let me just roll up here because this has the format. So I can use, this is obviously from my WSS check-in script, but it's the same usage scenario. Now I don't think I have added any verbose output in here, so no, I haven't. So the dash verbose won't do much for you here, but you can because you have commandlet binding enabled. But it's basically the same usage as uh, the WSS script. So what your output is going to look like, well, let's just run it here. So it ran. Here is my software inventory script. So let's get rid of this top one. Now let's spread these out so you can actually see what's going on here. So localhost is my computer name. There's my IP address, my MAC address. This is my username here so you could um, manipulate this string value here to take off the computer name, in my case, of signal warrant, if you wanted to uh, manipulate the format there. So last reboot time, and then this is all my version information for all the software that I was looking for. McAfee Security Center, DAT files, HIPS, Flash, all that stuff. Um, I hope this was helpful. I'll have this code up on the website so you can copy down the code and uh, customize it to however you may make use of it. And I appreciate you watching. Hey, thanks for stopping by and watching. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up down below and subscribe to the channel. Uh, you can contact me at the social media links listed there. And until the next time.